Hi, this is Dr. Nidhi Kumar Patel, neurosurgeon from Rajkot. Today we will show you endoscopic L5S1 discectomy by interlaminar approach under local anesthesia. This is a case of 43 year old gentleman who came to us with right sided sciatica pain for 3 months. He had large L5S1 right sided disc herniation compressing the traversing nerve root. We decided interlaminar approach as access is very easy and we don't require any drilling. Here we have already created window in, uh, in the ligament flavor. We are doing the approach from the right side. Pink structure is the right S1 traversing nerve root and lateral to that we are seeing is the extruded disc herniation. 3 o'clock being the cranial, 9 being the caudal, 12 o'clock is towards the midline and 6 o'clock is towards the facet. Here I am trying to uh, release the herniated fragment and release it from the surrounding structures. Uh, in an interlaminar approach, we usually uh, push our working sheath which is about 8 mm and which act as a retractor as well as protector of the nerve root so that we can work very easily. Here I am just rotating my working sheath after inserting it inside the canal. This white structure is the extruded fragment which we remove with the disc grasper. Sometimes we get a la in such cases we get a single big piece. However, after removal of big piece also we should search for the annular tear and remove any additional loose fragment within the disc space which we can see we are getting few additional fragment. After removal of the this material the nerve root is freely pulsatile and free from compression that we can see at the end of surgery using rf probe we can do annuloplasty as well here are the pieces we removed and whole surgery was done through a small 8 millimeter cut under local anesthesia patient made very excellent recovery and he is absolutely pain free and able to walk very comfortably within 2 hours after surgery. Thank you for watching the video.